Hello. In this session, I will be discussing how to configure notification forwarding. Notification forwarding allows users to keep up with alerts that matter through multiple means of communication. This includes Slack slash email integration along with establishing a syslog receiver in the notification settings. We will discuss prerequisites to receiving these types of notifications along with a demonstration of their applications. For email, all that is required is a valid email address. For Slack, a workspace and channel is required along with enabling it in settings, configurations, integrations, and external applications. And the syslog receiver requires a syslog server also enabled at the same location. It is also important to note that before integrating a syslog receiver, access must be enabled from certain Cortex-XDR IP addresses depending on your deployment region and your firewall settings. These addresses are listed to the right and can be found in the documentation to integrate a syslog receiver. There are also some limitations based on the notification sent along with the compatible communication method as seen in the diagram. For example, alerts can be notified via Slack, email, and syslog. Agent audit logs, on the other hand, can only be notified via email and syslog. Now, let's take a deeper dive into configuring notification forwarding. To configure notification forwarding, head to settings, configurations, and select notifications. Here, we are able to see pre-existing notification configurations along with their details. This includes their name, description, modification time, who was created by, and their configuration. In the right-click menu, we're also able to edit, disable, and delete notification forwarding configurations as well. At the top right, the Add Forwarding Configuration button allows for the creation of a new notification configuration. Here, we can add a name, description, and select a log type, being alerts, agent audit logs, or management audit logs. Clicking Next, we can see our list of alerts and establish a potential filter to send notifications in regard to. So for example, I can set a filter that checks for alert severity to be equal to high. And then we can select next as well. And here we are able to add an email, Slack, and syslog server to our configuration as well. The grouping time frame at the bottom section allows for the frequency of email sent. Every 30 alerts or 30 events aggregated within this time frame are sent together in one notification sorted by severity. Setting this to zero minutes will send a notification for every alert slash event generated. By clicking on this log format hyperlink, we are also able to view the log format for every type of alert slash event log with all of the three types shown at the first page of the notification configuration. This log format view is also available for every notification forwarder. At the moment, we're only able to configure email since the only prerequisite is a valid email address. So now let's take a look at how to establish a Slack and Syslog integration along with some example notifications. To initially configure the Slack application, Navigate to Settings, Configurations, Integrations, and finally select on External Applications. Here, you can see the Slack application and which workspace it is currently connected to. When initially setting up the Slack workspace, the following prompt will pop up. The Cortex XDR will request permission to access your current workspace. Workspaces are interchangeable at the top right drop down menu. Select Allow if the workspace selected is correct. Back on the notification configuration, we can select on a refresh to sync all of the channels in the selected workspace. And then we can utilize the search bar after it's done refreshing to search for a channel. And select there. And we can see that it's added to our list of select channels. And if everything looks okay, we can go ahead and click on done. 
and it will save our configuration and we could see that our new alert notification configuration was created successfully. So back on the Slack end, I'm in my uh, test channel and I was able to join and I did not add the Cortex XDR uh, user to this uh, channel. It says joined with along with the Cortex XDR. I did not add it from the Slack end. I added it from the Cortex XDR tenant end. The integration must be made on the Cortex XDR management console as demonstrated and it will not work if you attempt to add the Cortex XDR XDR app manually to your Slack channel. And as we can see, I got the provided alert notification I configured being a severity of high. I'm able to see the severity, the source, the category action description, and I'm able to see more about it, which will give additional information about the host and the username and any additional details. And I'm also able to click and view on the alert, as well as clicking on this hyperlink for a convenient way to investigate the incident. To send Cortex XDR notifications to your syslog receiver, a syslog server must be added to the external applications page as well. This is the same as a Slack integration and can be found under Settings, Configurations, Integrations, and External Applications. Here, we are able to view all existing configured syslog servers and view their attributes, such as their name, address, port, protocol, certificate name, if certificate error checking is enabled, and their current status. We're also able to edit, delete, and send a test message to syslog servers through the right-click menu as well. To add a new syslog server, we can go ahead and click on the new server button at the top right, and enter in the following information. To successfully configure a syslog receiver, it must be externally exposed. There's currently no mechanism for syslog receiver forwarding within an internal network. So, for example, I can enter in a name, test syslog, enter in a IP or host name, enter in the port of my syslog server, select a facility, select uh, the protocol that I would like to use. And finally, we have the option to upload a certificate. Syslog and Cortex XTR can utilize TLS for communication and up to TLS 1.2 is supported. The certificate can be uploaded here depending on the protocol selected. Depending on the protocol used, you can also send a test message. If everything looks good, we can go ahead and select Create. And we can see that our, that our Syslog servers were successfully updated. And can, we can see that it's validating. And it's now valid with the green check mark. Back on the configuration side, I can now go into the Syslog server list and select on the test syslog server that I added. When a log is forwarded to the syslog server, it will be sent in CEF format RFC 5425. It will be split up into three major sections. In this example, we can see the three sections that it's divided into being the syslog header, the CEF header, and the CEF body. This is an example of an alert as configured in the initial configuration when we defined it. A full example of an alert for a syslog will look like all three of these together, such as this. We can see that this is an analytics alert that's running Cortex 2.4, along with a lot of other useful information. Finally, we have the email, the only notification forwarding option that does not require integration. Any valid email address can be added to this list. And the grouping time frame will also open up after an email was added to the distribution list. I currently have my configuration set to forward management audit logs for the sake of diversity. And I can go ahead and click on done. And we can see that my new email configuration was created. Back on the email, I was able to be notified of a new configuration created for the management audit log, which was the notification forwarding configuration that I just established. We can see here we have the type of uh, management audit log notification, a subtype, the user who initiated it, and a timestamp. 
Here, we also have an example of an agent audit log notification forwarding configuration that I created for the same email. We can see that it is similar to the management audit log, having the title of the alert on the top. And it also has the type and subtype of alert along with the category. Instead of the name that initiated the action for the management audit log on the console, instead we have the endpoint name since we are looking at the agent for this type of log along with looking at the domain. In this session, we discussed how to configure notification forwarding in Cortex-XDR. We discussed how it can be a powerful way to forward several types of alert slash event logs externally through email, Slack, and a syslog receiver. We also covered how to integrate these alerts in the external application integrations in the configuration menu, along with taking a look at some example alerts. For more information, Please refer to the reference documentation for Cortex XDR. Thank you and have a great day.